Hey guys, it's me, Miss Griffith, and this week's lesson that we're going to talk about is a little bit about mindfulness, and first you're going to listen to a story, and we'll do a read-along, for a book called My Mind is Strong, and it's about a little girl who has to work on her mind and tell herself from her heart that I can do these things in my daily life to get me through. So I hope you guys enjoy this book, and then we'll talk about mindfulness a little after. My Strong Mind by Niels Vans Hove. Kate is a sporty and happy girl. She does well at school and has many friends. But like every girl, she faces difficult situations at home or at school. Sometimes things just don't go as she like. She is slow to get ready for school, making her parents grumpy with her. All her friends can do cartwheels, but she cannot. She is afraid to stand in the front of the class to do show and tell. Her friends sometimes say mean things. One day, Kate read a book about strong minds. She learned that everyone has their own brain and can make up their own mind. You can teach your mind what to do so it can tackle any challenge with a positive attitude. When you practice, your mind gets stronger and smarter. It is okay to try and feel. Because over time, your mind can help you get better at anything you want. Kate decided to use her mind with all her challenges. That evening, Kate wrote a list of all her tasks she had to do in the morning. Get dressed. Brush your hair. Brush teeth. Pack school bag. And many more things. The next morning, she told her mind, do one task at a time until the whole list is done. Kate focused her mind on her task list. One by one, she finished the task and ticked them off the list as she worked through. She was ready for school with plenty of time. Her parents were very surprised. When Kate arrived at school, her friends were doing cartwheels. Kate never joined in because she couldn't do a cartwheel and she did not want to fail in front of her friends. Kate told her mind, It is okay to try and fail, because every time I try, I get a little bit better. She tried her hardest, throwing her hands onto the ground and lifting her legs, and she almost got the cartwheel right. Her friends giggled, but Kate felt good that she had practiced. She told her mind, Well done. That day, it was her turn to do show and tell in front of the whole class. Standing before a big group always made Kate very nervous. She told her mind, it is okay to feel a bit scared. You can do this. Kate closed her eyes and imagined how she would deliver a great show and tell. Speaking clearly, making eye contact and smiling more. Because she practiced in her mind. She wasn't so nervous in front of the class and even enjoyed her show and tell. During lunch, she sat around with her friends in the schoolyard. Some of her friends started to be mean to her. Kate got very angry and felt like screaming. Then, Kate told her mind, count to ten. That helped her calm down so she didn't feel like screaming anymore. Kate told her friends in a calm voice that she didn't want to be treated like that and then walked off. In the evening, Kate had a basketball game. Her team was very unlucky that night. They were missing some of their best players and hardly had any ball went into the hoop. The other team had many strong players and they were way ahead in the score. Kate was tired and felt like giving up. Then she told her mind, keep trying your best. Kate kept running and running as long as she could. Her team lost the game but Kate still felt proud that she did her best she could. Kate was very tired from a long day, but couldn't sleep. She kept thinking about all the things that happened that day. Kate got out of bed and found her dad lying on the couch watching television while glancing at his phone. Daddy, Kate said. Her dad wasn't really listening. Daddy, Kate said loudly. You're not listening to what I say. Her dad looked up at her. 
Did you know you can tell your mind to stop looking at your phone and listening to me? You are right, said her dad. I'll put my phone away and concentrate on you. Can't you sleep? Kate shook her head. Let's play a game to relax called Rock the Boat. Kate and her dad both lay down on their backs and put a little paper boat on their tummy. They listened to some quiet music and took deep breaths. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. And breathe out. One, two, three, four. Breathe and make the boat rock on their tummies. After a couple of minutes, Kate's mind calmed and she started to feel sleepy. Her dad carried Kate to bed and tucked her in. Kate asked, what were your three favorite things of the date, Daddy? It made Kate feel good when she heard all the positive things her dad had to say about his day. Well, watching you do your best at basketball was surely one of my favorite things of the day, said her dad. This made Kate feel happy. Kate fell asleep to her dad telling all his favorite things and her mind grew just a little bit stronger that day. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the story, and I hope you guys learned something really useful from it. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what our mindful mantra is and what's a positive attitude. So we are going to break that down by what is mindfulness, what are mantras, and what is a positive attitude. So first, let's start with mindfulness. Mindfulness is basically paying attention 100% to something, to someone, or yourself. This includes paying attention to your body. How do you feel? Does anything hurt? Your mind. Is your brain tired? Do you have a lot of thoughts going on up there? Your breath. Are you taking fast breaths? Are you taking normal breaths? Are you breathing fine? Is it, you know, you feel a little anxious or something? And also paying attention to your heart. How do you feel? What is your emotions like today? So that's called being mindful. Being mindful is to be mindful of everything that's happening with you or someone else or something. It's not just paying attention to one part. It's paying attention to everything as a whole. Let's do mantras. Mantras are my favorite and I love them so much because mantras can be so many different things. They can be daily affirmations that you tell yourself. They can be phrases or chants that we tell ourselves just to keep ourselves positive, to help ourselves feel motivated. It's something that we do so that we can motivate ourselves so we can be intrinsically motivated and not from external factors. And now you can have a mantra that says, I am okay. So when you feel overwhelmed, you can literally repeat to yourself, I am okay, over and over again. And that can be a mantra. You can say five different things. I am okay. I feel good. Today is going to be great. And that can be your mantra. So they can be many different things and they can be specific to you and whatever you want them to be. And that's why I love them because they're very personal. Lastly, a positive attitude, which we saw in the story. A positive attitude is just a mindset to see the other side of things. When your situation is not so good, when something bad might happen, you say to yourself, okay, this bad thing happened, but what's the other side of it? What is that good? Your attitude is the way you think and the way you react to things. So if you're saying, oh man, I lost my favorite pencil and I am so angry about it, how are you going to react? How are you physically going to show that? What is your attitude going to say? Are you going to tell yourself, that was my favorite pencil and we had a lot of good times together. We took a lot of great tests together. We took a lot of great quizzes together. Thinking about the good things, are you going to be mad and upset and angry that you lost that pencil? And think about your attitude and your behaviors as one. A quote that I want to leave you guys with is, Write it on your heart that every day is the best day in the year. Every day is a new day. And although something bad might have happened yesterday, today is your day for something good to happen. There is a good in every day. Our goods can simply be, I woke up today. That is a great. Our good can be, 
I was able to have breakfast today. Our good can be anything as I was able to smell the fresh air. There is a good in every day. We just have to force ourselves to find it, to think about it, and to look for it. So I hope that you guys use this, you practice mindfulness, find yourself some mantras that you like, and to remember that every day is the best day in the year, and you have to make it that for yourself. So you guys stay safe and stay well, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.